My preferred way to do ribs is low and slow, outside on one of the smokers or grills that I have. But sometimes you don't have that amount of time to go slow, and sometimes you just can't make ribs outside. So today I'm going to show you how to make two hour ribs in the oven. We're going to take a couple of racks of baby back ribs, season them up, get them in foil and in the oven, and then after about 90 minutes we're going to sauce these with a homemade barbecue sauce, and these are going to be some fantastic ribs to enjoy. Yeah, these are going to be some fantastic ribs. And even though I'm doing them in the oven, you can do them out at the grill too. The thing is here, we're going at a temperature of 350 degrees. So if you can maintain that temperature out on your kettle, your pellet grill, your offset smoker, anything, that's the key to this. It's more of a hot and fast method. I'm doing it inside of the oven because honestly, if I'm cooking this fast, it's probably going to be inside. Because if I get a chance to be out at the grills, I want it to be low and slow. I want to spend some more time out there. So this is a fantastic way to do them if you just don't have as much time and you want to do it inside. First thing we got to get the rub made. We're going to start with a cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of granulated garlic, one tablespoon of smoked paprika. This is where we're going to get some of that smoke flavor from that we would normally get outside on the smoker or the grill. Another way to do it is to use a little bit of liquid smoke and rub that on the surface of the ribs before you put your rub on. Smoked paprika, if you can get it, works really well. Two teaspoons of kosher salt and two teaspoons of a coarsely ground black pepper. And we're just going to mix this all together here. Another way to do this is just put this in a bowl that you can put a lid on and shake it. How many chunks of brown sugar that are a little more solid? Just break them up. You get a good hit of that smoky flavor, that smoky smell from that smoked paprika. All right, let's get our ribs over here and get them seasoned up. So here I've got my two racks of baby back ribs. I've already removed the membrane from the back. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link in the video description to a video I did on that and I'll put a link up in the corner here. But let's go ahead and get these rubbed up. And there's enough moisture on the surface here that it's not going to need any binder. Yes, I could put the rub in a shaker, but I find when you use brown sugar and you're using it right away, it tends to you know, clump up and clog those holes. So just in a bowl is fine. All right, let's get these ready for the oven. So I've got my foil laid out here and I'm gonna be double wrapping these ribs because we're gonna be adding a little moisture to each of these foil packets. And I wanna get the sides pulled up a bit here first before I add the liquid. First, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of water and a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I want to wrap these up tightly. All right, I'm going to wrap the other rack up as well, and these are going to go on a baking sheet on some wire racks to keep them up off the surface. I just find that helps. If you don't have wire racks, it'll work fine. So those ribs are going to go at 350 degrees for 90 minutes. At that time, we're going to unwrap them, put them back on the racks without any foil, and sauce them with some barbecue sauce that I made the other day. I'll put a link in the description below to that barbecue sauce video that I did so you can see how to make it. I'll also put a link up in the corner, but really you can use any barbecue sauce you want. So I'll see you back here in 90 minutes. All right, we've been going for 90 minutes. It's time to check our ribs. All right, I have one of the racks of ribs right here. I've turned the oven down to 250 degrees because those last 30 minutes that these are going back in, it's gonna be a lower temperature. Let's open these up and check them out so we can get them back on the rack and sauced. Oh, 
Oh, these smell really good. I'm gonna use my probe here for tenderness. Yeah, we're, we're just about there. Those last 30 minutes are gonna be perfect. I don't know if you can see that, but like an internal temperature right now is showing 188 degrees. Temperature really to me with ribs isn't that big of an indicator. It's more the tenderness and we are just about there. All right, I'm gonna transfer this rack of baby back ribs and the other rack of baby back ribs to our baking racks so we can get them sauced. got really nice pullback, the meat pulling away from the bones. These are edible right now, but they don't have the color and they don't have that other layer of flavor that I want and a little more tenderness. So let's go ahead and sauce these up. Now this is a citrus barbecue sauce that I made the other day. I did a video on it. And as I mentioned before, I'll put a link to that video. Let's get some of the sauce on these ribs. Brush this gently. Don't want to disturb the rub too much. If we need to add more sauce, we certainly will. A little more sauce on this one down here. Now, is this my preferred way to do ribs? No, it's not. I prefer to smoke them, to grill them, but sometimes you just can't get out to the grill or the smoker. I've done other videos doing ribs in the oven and they turn out terrific. This is just an alternate way to do them if you can't get out to the smoker. I'm also gonna put a little bit of water in the bottom of this pan, just maybe a quarter cup. It's just to help keep a little more moisture in the oven. All right, let's go ahead and get these ribs back in the oven for 30 minutes at 250 degrees. All right, our ribs have been going for 30 minutes with that sauce on them. Let's get them out of the oven and have a taste. Well, here are our finished baby back ribs. Beautiful color on them. That last half hour in the oven is really what gives them the color. You'd be getting that color earlier if you did these out on the smoker or the grill, but you really need that final time with the sauce and out of the foil to really develop the color. Plus it also really sets the sauce nicely on these. Now, before I cut into these, I will tell you, these are not fall off the bone. You see, we have good pullback from the bone. I don't like fall off the bone. If you want fall off the bone baby backs, I would go another 20 to 30 minutes in the foil before you do the unwrapping and the saucing. That really will tenderize them a lot more and get them to that fall off the bone consistency. I like it where there's still a bit of a bite to it where it pulls away from the bone, but the meat doesn't just fall off. So let's go ahead and cut in. Oh, good looking ribs. Missing the bone, there we go. Cut some from this end down here. Good juice in these, you can see that. Really good juice in these. Now you could do these even faster. You could pump that temperature up. You can do it at 400 degrees. There are people that do that and get ribs done in an hour. For me, I've found that this two hour method, if you're trying to approximate the outdoor cooking on a grill, this works well. You're gonna get a nice, juicy, tender rib without that chance of potentially drying it out and cooking it too quickly. But you can definitely go faster if you wanna try that. I've just decided for me, this is a good method. But now, nothing left to do. It's time to taste. So I'm just gonna go with this guy right here. Let's see. Mm, that's exactly like I like it with that meat just pulling away from the bone, comes away cleanly without falling off when you pick the rib up. The rub, the sauce, everything works well together. And that two hour method works to give you really tender, tasty, juicy ribs. So there you have it. Ribs done in two hours in the oven. You could easily do this out on the grill, the smoker. For this recipe, it's about the time it takes to get to the tenderness that you want. 
you want them to fall off the bone, go a little longer, but for me, these are perfect.